welcome to another episode of Chatting with Stacks. I'm your host, Bill Stacks, and today I'm doing stuff a little different, man. I gotta go to an appointment, so hey, I figured I'll get a story in while I'm driving. Um, so, the thing I want to talk to you about today is joining a gang at a young age. I had a mother. I didn't, my father wasn't around. He left when I was, before I was born. Um, uh, I had a stepfather. He was, uh, not great. But, um, I gravitated towards the streets at a young age. I was, I was in the streets when I was, um, uh, 10 years old, 11 years old, 12 years old. I bought my first pistol. So, um, 10 years old, I got my first case. Uh, I got in trouble for burning a dumpster on fire. I um, I lit a dumpster on fire at school. Um, I was by myself, and I I was in the back of the school, Southside School in Bristol, and there was a bunch of paperwork in the dumpster, and I walked up to the dumpster, and I threw a match in there. I had a book of matches, and I, I went, and I threw a match in, and the, and the fire just caught, and I was like, so I walked home, and on my way home, there was a kid that was standing outside, like kind of like across the street. So I, I I walked over to him, and he was in, in the same class as me, and everything. And I was like, "Yo, you see that shit? The fire with the fucking smoke." and everything and he's like yeah I was like I did that and that was rule number one that I made the mistake I told somebody and I got in trouble for it so I ended up going home and the cops knock on my door probably an hour later and they're like is your son here and I know what's coming you know but I don't care I didn't care. I remember I remember this like it was yesterday. I did not care that I was caught. I didn't give a shit. I had no remorse. Um, so the cops were trying to scare me, I remember. Put me in the car, handcuffing me and shit. I didn't care. It was nothing. I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I was like... Um, so, after that, I used to... Um, go out of the house and sneak out all the time with my cousin. My cousin Randy, what's up, man? Give me a shout out, bro. Um, so me and my cousin, we're tight, man. We're still tight. So um, we used to, he used to sleep over my house, and then we would uh, sneak out the house. We would uh, climb out the cellar window. And so one time, my friend Steve... I used to go to his house all the time when I was young too. I was about 12 years old. I bought a pistol off of Steve. Uh, a chrome semi-automatic Pearl 25. And um, so I bought this gun off of him with the money that I was supposed to use to go to the movies. And it was $25, I remember. And I gave him the $25, he gave me the pistol. and. It was insane. It was pretty crazy. So, um, hold on. I'm getting on the highway here, so I want to pay attention to what I'm doing. I'm paying attention to what I'm doing, obviously, but I want to really pay attention to what I'm doing. Hold on. Um, so, I buy the pistol off this kid, and I'm, like, infatuated with this gun. Right? I bring it to school with me sometimes. But I wasn't showing it off. And I would have it in my book bag, right? The reason why I bought the gun is because one day I was on the way home from um, my, my, my mom wanted me to go get a pizza at the corner for me and my family, right? So I go and I, they order the pizza, I go to the corner, and remember I live in the projects, with next door to this other projects where all the kids are like, terrors. 
And um, so I end up um, walking to the store to get the pizzas about two, three blocks away, right? So I go to the store, get the pizza, and then I start walking back, start walking home. And as I'm walking, I got the pizza and shit, and I see there's a group of dudes coming towards me. I'm like, oh man. So they're all walking towards me, and I'm like, I don't know what to do. So um, I just threw the pizza at them, man. There was like eight of them. So I just threw the pizza at them and just started running. I was, I was eight years old, bigger than me. And they were uh, quite nobody, but when there's eight of them, it's a little different. So um, they ended up grabbing the pizza and shit and eating it and uh, bought me. I got my ass beat. Um, my mother was like, where the fuck is the pizza? It was, it was, it was insane. It was a lot of crap. So, um, so people knew early on that I would not tell on them. They knew I was a stand-up guy. I always have been a stand-up guy. I'm not a rat. I've never been a rat. Um, and I mean, I, I, I don't really have any comment on the subject, to tell you the truth. Um, people do what people do because people go through what people go through. I don't know. I don't know why people do what they do. But anyway, that's here and over there. Um, so, I never told a, a single person in my life. No one's ever been to prison because of me. None of, but And I'm not lying about this. You can look into my background if you want. You're more than welcome. Um, I spent a little over five years in prison altogether. Um, I've been in mental institutions. I've been all across the country in different facilities. Um, I mean, I, there's... There's really nothing about me that I want to try to hide from you guys. Yes, I had a problem with drugs and alcohol. Um, I work on myself every day. And I'm just blessed to be where I'm at in the situation I'm in right now. And uh, a big reason of that is because of you guys. Because I, I was at a point in my life where I was ready to go either back to the streets or just end it all. Because, and this was before COVID hit. I was like, man, I, I don't know what to do with my life. I don't know what to do. So then, um, my daughter, I have a 16 year old daughter. She was born in 2000, 2005, 2505 is her birthday. And um, her name's Adriana. She's 16 years old. And she got into some trouble. And, and she needs my help. And that's the bottom line. And, um, you know, I stayed with my mother because she had cancer. She had breast cancer. And um, she needed help. She needed help around the house. She needed me to shovel the driveway. She needed me to take out the garbage. She wants me to, um, I remodeled her bathroom. I did a lot. I do a lot for my mom. And I don't care. I'll do everything for my mom because she's the most important woman in my life. Um, so... Um, I moved in with my mom to help her out. Now that my mom's in remission with her cancer, I plan on moving. Um, I got the keys to my apartment. I get them on the 4th. So that's another reason I want to thank all my viewers for the inspiration for me to keep doing this and uh, and keep going. You guys are the reason I keep going and strive for this because you guys like my content. You guys tell me every day and I appreciate every single one of you. Don't think that I don't read those things because I read all of them. I read the hate, I read the love, I read all of them. I don't let the negative things affect me. Oh, holy shit, look at that. Damn, you guys missed it. Uh, it's a little little man made out of uh, some barrels or some shit on the highway. Look at this. I'm going to show you something, ladies and gentlemen.
Yo, it's Bill Stacks. I'm in Bristol, Connecticut. I'm at Otis Elevator. And, um, you know, I got a lot of things planned. And uh, this is just the beginning, man. I'm just getting started. All the way to the top. To the top. That's where we're going with this. Make sure you stay tuned for the commission tour. It's coming very soon. Um, it's co coming to almost every city in the country. Stay tuned, man. It's going to be great. Thanks for rocking with me.